Well, congratulations, Inspire Family Fellowship. You only have to hear me give half a sermon today. <laughs> Philippians chapter 2 talks about that every tongue shall confess Jesus as Lord and bow before him. Revelation talks about every tribe and every nation again before Jesus. And today's just a little bit of a foreshadowing of that, I think. And it's a special day. I would like to um, just uh, introduce our speaker today, our other pastor, uh, Pastor uh, David Fauston. Did I say that right? Yes. Please come forward, David. Um, and he comes to us from Haiti via Maryland, yes. if we got that right. And so what David is going to do is he's going to share the first part of our uh, message today. And if I understand it right, you're going to then uh, say it in English and then translate it to your people. And then when I preach, you're going to be my translator, Correct. which I'm not used to. So I'll make if I go too fast, just Oh, yeah. I, I, I've been doing it for a long time, so you can go fast, you can go slow. No, I'll, I'll go catch slow. up with you. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just slow by nature, David, I'll so do, yeah. it's okay. So could we all please raise our hands in blessing, please? Gracious Father, we are in awe. You are the God of all people, and in Christ you offer your salvation to all who would turn to him, regardless of where they come from regardless of what language they speak or how big their bank account is, it doesn't matter that, Jesus, you open, you open the gates, you tear the curtain, and it's an awesome thing. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you would come and speak through Pastor David and myself, be our teacher, and let us be blessed because we've spent this time in your word and together. In Jesus' name, all God's people said, Amen. 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 You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Pastor Andy. It is a blessing for me to be here today and to share God's Word with you. It is Bread of Life, Bible Fellowship, BLBF, with Inspire, so we are together in the kingdom. Je dis à son plaisir pour moi, vous pouvez avec nous, c'est Bread of Life, avec Inspire, nous sommes under our own budget. In my church in Silver Spring, outside of Washington, D.C., we have service where we use your language, we use French, the French language, and we use Creole. We use three languages in one setting. Like I do in the Word of Life, in Silver Spring, we use three languages in service. So when God sent Jesus Christ, God sent the kingdom to us. So now we're going to talk about thy kingdom come, and I will do the first part, and Pastor Andy will do the second part. Well, the first part, I do it in many languages, Pastor Andy will do it in one, and then I'll catch up in Creole. Amen? Na fe premier parti a se moyen ka prêcher deuxième parti a se pasteur Andy pasteur Andy a parlé au seul langue moyen m'a catch up dans créole pour m'capable parler créole avec nous when we talk to pasteur Andy we have pastor Loro who is the pastor of here bread of life you allow us to have a place to come to worship when covid hit we didn't have a place to worship but I'm the pastor of bread of life and they call me here so that we can pull the Haitians together and for them to worship God because you know a lot of people say that Haitian people are not worshiping God. Haitian, Haitian people are worshiping Voodoo. They are worshiping Satan. I'm telling you, it's not true. Because a lot of us, we know God. A lot of us, we are worshiping God every single day. But when we come to a place, they pull us together. We can pull them together and can, can show you that we can do what you do. You worship God, we worship God. There are people who think that the Haitian is not God. The Haitian is Voodoo. The Haitian is not Satan. But we can prove that it's not true. We can prove that it's not God. Nous pouvons que nous connaissons Jésus. Nous pouvons que nous ne pouvons pas servir Satan. That's why I want to thank the leadership of this church, Pastor Andy and his leadership, for allowing us to come. It's not a place where we come to pay money and to come to worship. You gave us a place where we can come and we can worship God. And no, I know that the reward is not on this side of heaven. You will find reward on this side of heaven, but the real reward is in eternity. Because God gave us something that we call eternal life that you cannot buy anywhere. Moi, je pense que le fait que Pastor Andy, avec le leadership de l'Église, ça bat nos côtés pour nous adorer, il y a une récompense, bon ici, mais il y a une récompense éternelle. Il y a une récompense que bon Dieu pour le bailler, parce que ce n'est pas l'argent que nous pour nous venir ici. Le short message que je prie, c'est que le kingdom come. It is in the Lord's prayer. When Jesus taught us how to pray, Jesus came and offered us a kingdom. And that kingdom is bigger than the church. That kingdom is bigger than the kingdom of the world. 
The kingdom is a kingdom that has no beginning and no end. This is God's kingdom. So we are in God's kingdom. The church is in God's kingdom. Inspire is in God's kingdom. BLBF is in God's kingdom. Royaume que bon Dieu vini au fruit noir, c'est pas royaume qui passager, c'est pas royaume qui gagne fin, mais ce royaume qui pas ni commencement ni fin et ni l'église inspire ni l'église bread of life, nous tous deux nous nous dans royaume ça. The kingdom of God come with two important things, power and glory. If you know the, the, the prayer, you see that the kingdom has power. The kingdom of God has power, but the kingdom of God has also glory. Waham Bonjour gagne deux bagages importants. Il gagne le pouvoir, il gagne la gloire. In the Lord's Prayer, we find in Matthew 6, verse 9 to 13, Jesus ends the prayer with three important words. Let us turn into Matthew chapter 9, we'll read chapter 6, we'll read verse 9 to verse 13. Le nous Jésus montre nous le notre Père, il termine avec trois mots. Nous allons regarder qui trois mots ça. Our Father in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, that's the first word, and the power, the second word, and the glory. The kingdom comes with power and with glory. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain quotidien. Pardonne nos offenses comme nous aussi nous pardonnons à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Ne nous induis pas en tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal, car c'est toi qui appartiennent le règne, la puissance et la gloire. I'm going to talk briefly about that. When we go to Acts chapter 1, verse 8, we read, Jesus told the disciples, but you shall receive power. God gives us power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Vous recevrez une puissance. Le Saint-Esprit se venant sur vous. Et vous serez mes témoins à Jérusalem, dans toute la Judée, dans la Samarie, et jusqu'aux extrémités de la terre. It is not power to stay and do nothing. It is not power to tell people that you have power, but it is power to transform the world and to bring the world into God's kingdom. Because this world is not doing God's will. The nations are not doing God's will. The cities are not doing God's will. The families are not doing God's will. The, individual, the individuals are not doing God's will. But we receive that power so that we can teach them and bring them into the knowledge of God. Moun pa fè volonté bon Dieu, nation, ville, famille, moun. Mais nous recevons pouvoir pour nous capables d'aller, pour nous aider à faire volonté bon Dieu. God shares his power so that we can bring him glory. That's the only reason. God gives us his power so that we can give glory to God because glory belongs only to God. We're not going to receive glory. When we bring people, we do such a wonderful thing. They say, thanks. To us, we have to give glory to God. Lorsque bon Dieu a nos possibilités pour nous aider, pour nous faire des choses qui sont bonnes pour la vie, mon Dieu dit nous merci, nous même nous devons gloire à bon Dieu. Glory belongs to God. Jesus, during his ministry on earth, has often said to his audience, the people who hear him, to the crowd, to the religious leaders, the kingdom of God is among us. Why? That's because Jesus came and Jesus is a representative of God's kingdom. That's why we are here. We must be a representative of God's kingdom when we accept the, uh, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, who is a visible manifestation of God's kingdom on earth. Jésus vini, Jésus toujours a dit à foule, Jésus toujours a dit à leader, le royaume de Dieu est parmi vous. Pour que ça dit ça, c'est parce que lui-même il est là. Nous-mêmes, nous recevons Jésus comme sauveur. Nous nous devons porter le royaume de Dieu côté que nous allons. Wherever you go, you must bring the kingdom of God. Wherever you go, there must be transformation because of your presence at work, because of your presence in the marketplace, because of your presence at home, because of your presence in the church. The kingdom of God must be there because the kingdom of God is in you when you accept the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is a visible manifestation of the kingdom of God on earth. 
le Jésus dans où tout côté où aller c'est le royaume mondial qui aller et ça fait loi à l'autre côté bagarre pas arrivé even in a plane you must be in a plane sometime something wrong is going to happen because of you it cannot happen because the kingdom of god is there Amen. i remember one day i was in school in dallas and i was going to washington dc and when the plane was about to land i touched the person on my right and i said the plane is not landing and he said what are, she said what are you talking about i said i tell you the plane is not landing he said how do you know i said god just told me And then they, they came on the microphone and said, we don't have the right to land right now because of problems. I said, I told you, it's not because of problems. Because the wheels can, cannot come out. And he said, how do you know? I said, God just told me. <laughs> When you are in the kingdom, God can communicate with you things that other people cannot know. Nous avons l'homme de l'école Dallas, et puis nous allons à Washington, avion pour l'atterrir. Moi, je dis, mon beau, avion n'avons pas pour l'atterrir. Je dis, qui je fais connaître, moi, je dis, bon Dieu, juste dis-moi ça. Il dit, mais qui vous fait qu'on est Et puis, il vient dans le micro, il dit, avion pour qu'on atterri, il y a beaucoup de nos droits pour nous atterrir parce qu'il y a trop d'avions. Mais ce n'est pas de vrai. Parce qu'il y a avion pas de atterri, ou il n'y a pas de cas sorti. Bon Dieu, dis-moi ça. When you are part of the kingdom of God, even in dreams, even in visions, God will communicate things to you that you cannot know otherwise. Amen. We have to understand Amen. that being part of the kingdom is a privilege. But you receive that privilege to go and then to bring other folks into the kingdom. Ce n'est pas pour nous capables de venir dire que c'est nous convertis, ce n'est pas pour nous capables de venir dire que c'est nous sauver, mais c'est pour nous capables de mener l'autre monde en dans le royaume bon Dieu. It's a beautiful thing. I don't have the entire time, but I'm going to share the other part with Pastor Andy, who is going to share more with us. God bless you all. You went so fast, you caught me off guard. Hallelujah. He did it well. The kingdom of God. Le royaume de Dieu. We uh, we today is the final. Thank you. The final entry in our devotion that we have been reading all year long. Je dis à ces derniers parties la dévotion que nous appliquons pendant toute l'année. And throughout the year, we have been learning. Et pendant toute l'année, on va apprendre that the kingdom of God is what it's all about. Que le royaume de Dieu, c'est ça que l'il y a. And that we do not follow Jesus merely to go to heaven. Et nous pas suivre Jésus seulement pour aller dans le ciel. But to participate with him. Mais nous suivre pour nous participer avec lui. In the coming of his kingdom. Non, on veut tout le royaume de Dieu. God's going to save everything. Bon Dieu va sauver toute bagaille. Starting with those who choose him. La commencé à ça qui accepte il. Last week, uh, uh, 10 days ago, we had our final Wednesday night service. Dix jours passés, nous avons le dernier service mercredi soir. Nous. And they showed you this picture of us having, you know, a good time. It's, there's, there's definitely a party about it. Et nous avons eu une grande fête que nous avons gagné dans le jour ça. But I want to stress something to you. Même vous voulez peser sur le bagage pour nous. People can look at a picture like that and think that we are not about the kingdom. Think that we're just trying to entertain people. But I want to tell you fun is part of the kingdom of God. Joy is part of the kingdom of God. And he's preparing a party for us beyond what we can imagine. I want to show you one other picture from that same service. That I think will give you a better idea of the real true heart of what God is doing with our young people. Don't ever think that, that what we did was just a party. Ladies and gentlemen, old people, I want to tell you the Spirit of God is at work in our young people. And why should we be surprised? In Peter's first sermon, Uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2. 
He quotes the prophet Joel. Il récitait le prophète Joël. Hundreds of years before Jesus. Qui était des années, centaines d'années avant Jésus. And through Joel, God says the following. Et à travers Joël, Jésus dit ça. You and I are really good at this. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I need new glasses. Okay. In the last days, it will be, God declares. Dans les derniers jours, mais ça Dieu va le faire. That I will pour out my spirit. Ma verser l'esprit sur monde upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit. And they shall prophesy. People ask, are we in the end times? Yes. Oui. We've been in the end times since the ascension of Jesus. Remember, a thousand years to God or to us is but a day to God. We need not grow impatient. And in that great day when Jesus returns, who's going to be counting the days then? Amen? Amen. 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 Jesus says, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Not your kingdom there. Your kingdom come where? Here. On earth. And we see evidence of that all around us, don't we? No evidence de Ram, mon Dieu qui vini, qui côté, ou à un bral vini, du bral vini là, du bral vini non, nous, nous, ouel là, je dis. In the cry of a child, nous, ouel l'en crie ou timoun, the miracle of a birth, nous, ouel l'en miracle de naissance, the breathtaking beauty of a sunset, nous, ouel l'en soleil, cap levé, cap couché, the sacred moment somebody else forgives somebody else, nous, ouel l'en moment sacré, côté au monde, son blio l'autre monde. God has always been here. Bon Dieu, il était toujours là, oui. The light has always been here. Lumière n'a pas de par là. The only question we need ask. Seule question d'a besoin poser. Will you be a child of the light or of the dark? Est-ce que vous petite lumière ou bien petite feu noir? The word for kingdom in the original Greek New Testament is basileia. Mot pour royaume dans New Testament grec là, c'est basileia. Basileia means the kingdom where it's wherever God's rule is happening. It is not limited to geography. It can happen anywhere. And God's kingdom is the greatest viral event in all history. You think TikTok videos go viral? Let me tell you about the gospel. Because the kingdom of God, people are looking for it out there. When in fact, they should be looking for it to start with in here. When we pray for God's kingdom come, we do well to embrace that it comes in us first. In us first. We become walking kingdoms of God. And in us, the kingdom of God, are you ready for this one? Is mobile, agile, and to, the, and to the devil of this world, hostile. And this is why the Gospels talk about that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We are on offense, ladies and gentlemen. By God's Spirit. And only God's Spirit. So today, as we conclude, I challenge each and every one of us to consider asking the Spirit of God to bring the kingdom of God in your heart. 
in your mind and in your actions. And action. I want to conclude by reading our final entry. We've been doing this all year long. Good. Revelation 22, verses 3 and 4. Apocalypse 22, verses 3 and 4. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city. And His servants will serve Him. Hmm. They will see His face. And His name will be on their foreheads. In this, the final entry of this devotional, we come to a beautiful conclusion. John sees that the curse of sin and death has been swallowed up in victory. The city, an entity which typically in the Bible is associated with large-scale sin, like Nineveh, Babel, Sodom, Babylon, Babylon, has been redeemed and made perfect by the presence of God. The separation of Adam and Eve from God in the garden is reversed in glory. The pain and death of sin has evaporated swallowed up in indestructible life. La vie vin valeli. The name of the beast, no, non betla, which was on the foreheads of the rebellious, qui front, tout monde qui is now on the foreheads of those who called Jesus Lord. Trusting him as the lamb qui comme for their salvation. Pour salut. The petition in the Lord's Prayer Petition que nous dans la prière de Thy Seigneur, kingdom come, que ton règne vienne, thy will be done, que ta volonté soit faite, on earth, sur la terre, as it is in heaven, comme au ciel, has been fulfilled. Lit rempli. Amen. 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 We're not there yet. Nous pas là, non? There are battles to be fought. Des batailles pour une bataille. There will be dark days ahead. But we need not fear. The outcome has already been determined. I choose Jesus. How about you? It's that simple. C'est simple. It's that simple. C'est simple. Let's pray. Father in heaven. Papa What a great day. And I look forward to that great day when you return and all things are made new. And we are at the wedding feast of the Lamb, the ultimate party. And we can stand with our Haitian friends. And other friends across the world. And in every language. Hear the words. Glory to the Lamb. Who was slain. And who is risen. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Until that day, Holy Spirit, fill us. Strengthen us. Encourage us. Give us hope que le espérance. and courage. Que le courage. We pray this in the only unique name of Jesus. Nous dans nom de notre Jésus. In whom dans celui the beginning and end rests. Que la fin et le and all God's people say. Et tout peuple bon Dieu dit. Amen. 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 One more time. Amen. 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 Thank you. Sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. It's Hallelujah. a pleasure. Thank you. God bless you. Awesome. Pastor Joseph, do you want to lead us in another song?